Welcome to the Daily Devotionals podcast with Pastor Paul Pett from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast app. Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our Old Testament reading for the third Sunday after the Epiphany of our Lord. The Old Testament reading for that third Sunday of, after the Epiphany is the prophet Jonah verses 1 through 5 and verse 10. Jonah chapter 3 verses 1 through 5 and verse 10. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and call out against it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, three days' journey in breadth. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's journey, and he called out, Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. And they called for a fast and put on sackcloth, from the greatest of them to the least of them. And when God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil way, God relented of the disaster that he had said he would do to them, and he did not do it. <clears throat> we remember from Sunday school days the story of, of Jonah. We remember that Jonah tried to get out of this. Jonah when God called him to go to Nineveh the first time, Jonah ran in the other direction, boarded a ship, and tried to sail uh, in the opposite way from Nineveh. But God doesn't take no for an answer. And so we know about Jonah being thrown into the sea and swallowed by a great fish and then spit back up on land. And yep, now God sends him again. And so this time, Jonah doesn't run the other way. And Jonah does what God tells him to do. He goes and preaches. He goes and does God's will. And much to his amazement, God relented from bringing disaster on Nineveh because much to his amazement, Nineveh repented we live in a time where we wouldn't expect this kind of reaction to God's word. And so many of us have become hardened by what we see in our world, the way that the world has gone in, in, in an entirely terrible direction. And we think that people can't repent, unwilling to repent, and even might persecute us if we say a thing to them. And so our temptation, not like Jonah, but a run in the other direction, but uh, temptation to keep our mouths shut, temptation to say nothing, temptation to let things go on as they are. But God wants to save people. When we listen to the scriptures, including in the Old and New Testaments, we hear God telling us, that, that his will is that all people should repent and come to the knowledge of the truth. See, when Jonah did it and the people in Nineveh repented, God did not bring disaster. And, and God seeks to do the very same thing for all mankind. And so when we hear these words, it's all mankind that God wants to save. It's all mankind that he wants to repent. It's all mankind that he wants them to turn around and believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and be saved. And so it's not just the Ninevites anymore. It's people in the United States, people in Asia, people in Europe, people in Australia, people in Europe, people on every continent on the planet. These are the people that God wants to save. 
He wants them to hear his word. He wants them to hear the truth. He wants them to know their Savior, Jesus Christ. And so our call is just like Jonah's call. But maybe not to a whole city. Maybe it's just one person. Maybe it's just one person in our lives to whom we need to speak the truth about sin, but even more so, to whom we need to speak the truth about Jesus, about his love for us, about the gift of his salvation for us, and about the hope that we have in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Just one person. You see, God saved us. At some point, we heard his word. At some point, we repented from our sin. At some point, we turned and believed. God relented from the disaster of hell that he was going to bring upon us and had promised us and assured us of the gift of our salvation, eternal life with him. Shouldn't someone else have that same opportunity to repent, that same opportunity to believe, that same opportunity to be saved? Are we the one to bring them that opportunity? Let's pray. Father, we ask, fill us with your spirit, that when you put the opportunity before us, when you give us the task, may we not be like Jonah. May we not run in the other direction, but may we be like Jonah when you sent him the second time to speak your word and to speak it faithfully, but not be critical of you when you bring salvation to maybe those that we think don't deserve it. Help us. Help us to see what you've done for us and recognize the enormity of the gift of our salvation you bestowed. And help us also with compassion and Christian love to look on those to whom you send us, to share with them the good news of Jesus, and pray that they hear, turn, and believe. In your name, amen. Have a blessed Tuesday. Stay warm and safe. And may the Lord strengthen you with his grace to may boldly and faithfully serve and speak for him. Thanks for listening. At Redeemer Lutheran Church, our mission is to share with all people the good news of Jesus Christ, teaching faith and love. Learn more about our ministry at RedeemerLutheranGB.com.